Hey everyone! Our objective today is to finish up our review of our chapter and talk about the test that you're going to take for me. So let's just rewind back to the very first day. Um, I think we talked about this yesterday, but there are lines and there are curves. Lines go straight from one place to the next. Curves bend out or in or up and down as they go. So there's a difference. So whenever you see a curve, it makes sense to me for you to note that that's a curve. This is a curve. This is a curve. This is, it's easy to count. And whenever you see a line, it makes sense to me for you to count that differently. So just a tip on the test today, I would love to see you keeping track of your lines and your curves. Here's a perfect example. If you just try to count as you go, you might miss one. One, two, three. The curves are easy. But when it's time for the lines, you might miss one of these little lines that are on the picture, right? So it makes sense to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get them all, right? You'll have to count the lines and the curves on your test today. Not only are there lines and curves, there are also flat surfaces, like touch the table that you're working at right now. That's flat and long and wide. It's a flat face, and there are many flat faces on the objects around us. There's a flat face on the top of a cylinder. There's a flat face on the side of a pyramid. There's a flat face on the side of a rectangle. There is a flat face on the top, on the bottom, on the side of a cube, right? They're all over. You can see them. And I'll even put a cute little face on that one. Looking for flat surfaces or faces is going to be part of your test. Count those up. But then also, there are some shapes that do not have very many flat surfaces. I guess the cone has one on the bottom, but if you look at the side of the cone, it's rounded. Same with the ball. These would just roll, right, across. If they roll, that's because they are definitely curved surfaces. So you're going to be looking for flat and curved surfaces on your test today. And I kind of hinted at this a little bit, but you're going to be asked if certain objects are um, stackable. Do they have two flat surfaces? Um, are they sliders? Things that slide would have at least one flat surface. Or are they rollers? Rollers means that it would roll at least in one of its positions on one of its surfaces, right? So you're going to be looking for stacks, slides, and rolls today. Let's take a look at the test. Okay, so up at the top, here they are asking you which ones are lines. Just put the letter on the line or put the letter by where the answer should be. Which ones are curves? Put those letters where that answer should be. Take a look at these two shapes, right? I would like you to find the lines on this shape, the curves on this shape. And on this one, it might be better to find the flat surfaces and the curved surfaces. Actually, I think I'm going to change that as we go through. So this one is going to say flat surfaces and curved surfaces for this one. That'll make more fun. Okay, part two. Okay, look at A. How many flat surfaces does it have? How many curved surfaces does it have? Right, you're going to do that for each of these solid shapes. Counting up the number here, I'll even do one for you. So let's go ahead and do this cone because it's easy. The cone has a curvy top. So that is C. So it's definitely a curved surface on the top. But if you look underneath, and it's tough to see it because it's sitting on this part, it has a round flat bottom. That's why you're able to set it up and slide it a little bit. So it has one and one. Make sure your answers are neat and in the line to that letter, okay? Um, down at the bottom, I'm going to describe um, some different shapes. 
you have to read the description and then choose what I'm talking about. So for example, I have both flat and curved surfaces. What am I? So you're going to look and say, does this have any curves? Does this have, oh, that has curves, but no flats, right? So you're going to have to figure out, am I talking about the chocolate? Am I talking about the tissue? Am I talking about whatever it might be? And then when you're all done with that good stuff, I have a fun math game called the Draw Me Challenge, and I'll explain that on the next slide. Thanks, everybody.